Hello and welcome to this learner tutorial on how to use Python to get location data from an IP address. So you've got an IP address like this one here and you can use a bit of Python to find out what country that IP address belongs to, what currency that user uses, what time zone and a whole host of other information. Uh, there are other APIs that allow you to do this but this is the one that I found is the quickest, easiest and it's free of charge for personal use. So it's really, really good. So first things first, step one, go to ipdata.co and sign up for a free API key. Really simple, go to the website, click sign up, um, make sure you confirm your email address. And then once you're in there, it will here, like for instance here, it will then give you, you click on the API settings and you want to copy your API key. Uh, use control C to copy it and please don't steal mine. Okay. So once you've done that, you've copied the IP, uh, the API key, then what you need to do is you need to install the IP data package. If you're in Linux, you can use the terminal. If you're in use, uh, Windows, then you use the CMD command prompt. And all you need to do is you do pip install IP data. Now I've already installed mine, um, but you can install yours, so mine will look slightly different when I um, when I click on this line of code there, when I run it. Uh, yours will probably say something on the lines of, are you sure you want to download, or it's going to take this much space, those kind of things. But once that's done, it'll all be installed. You only have to do that once, and that package is now installed. And then we can open Python and do the actual business end of things. Good. So using this uh, using this API is really, really simple. Uh, a few lines of code from IP data import IP data. So we're going to get the IP data um, module. That's going to be the most important thing. We'll also import the pprint module import as well. Oops, pprint. There we go. We'll do this because you'll see in a minute that it um, you can print out the database, uh, the database, the dictionary using normal print, but it doesn't. It looks doesn't look as pretty, and it's a little harder to read. So this using pprint makes it really easy to read when you're debugging and coding. So we've done that. Then we need to set up the connection. So we do ipd equals ip data dot ip data. And here inside of the inverted commas is where you would paste your API key. There you go. Please don't steal mine. Uh, and I've, oh, what have I done there? Oh, yeah. Oops. IP data. There we go. So now, there you go. The connection's all set up. And then all we need to do is actually send a request through to the server. So we do ipd.lookup. And then we just inside of the, uh, here is where we give it the IP address that we're wanting to actually query against. So, 144, there we go. And that hopefully now is successful. Let's find out. So this is where the pprint comes in, because if now if we do pprint response, you'll see that it prints it out in a very, very pretty way. There we go, good. There we are, pprint response. And now we've done that with the pprint response. You can see it's produced here. The response is a dictionary containing other dictionaries in a kind of JSON sort of format, really, um, that we can have a look at. And it contains all of the information that we need to know about that IP address. So what country code, uh, it's from and what the country code is, um, what the currency is of that country, and the currency symbol, all those sorts of things. It even contains a link to the um, to a PNG file of the actual flag. So you know, like on websites where you see where it, you know you, your location is wherever, and then it puts the country flag in there. Well, this you can use that to do that if you're writing a web app. And it's got a few other bits and bats. I'm not going to go through all of them, but you can see it's got quite a lot of information. And that's pretty much it, really. Um, let's say, for instance, if you want to have a look at, um, you want to print out, you want to find out exactly what the symbol is, then in Python, then you just talk to it using normal Python dictionary kind of format. So let's say we want to find the country, the currency code, then we can do print brackets response. 
uh, and then we can do um, currency and then we'll do the currency symbol there we go we'll just close that there so there you go and you can see there it's gone to the currency dictionary inside of the main dictionary and then it's looked up the value against the symbol there so you can do that um so for instance another way if you're doing um or you could use like country code or things like that all the different things you want to do so there you go that's it nice and uh, simple if you've got any questions then just put a comment in the youtube comment section and if you did like the video then please like and subscribe